add effects to samples and loops in DJ Pro AI. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm going to show you how. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. All right, so before we get into it, I just want to introduce myself. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, I'm DJ Spiegelspin. I make DJ videos every day about DJing on the iPad, DJing with DJ Pro, and other ways of thinking about DJing. So if you're into that kind of stuff, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. It really helps the channel out. All right, so let's dive right into it. I made a lot of videos about the DJ Pro Looper and the sampler, and I've even made videos about how to produce your own original tracks with using only DJ Pro. And in order to do this, you're going to have to think out of the box and use some creativity. So here we are in our sampler. I'm using right now, because it's the easiest for the example, this is the DJ Vocal Drops. So we're going to take this sample here, and we're going to add an echo to it. Um, you guys could add reverb or whatever, but I'm just going to add the echo because it's the most noticeable and then you guys could see what I'm doing. So here in Go, the sampler, DJ. there is no way for us to add any effects or change the volume. All we could do is change the volume of every sample. But if you want more control and you want to add effects, there is a way to do it, but it is a little bit difficult and it's a lot of steps. So I'm going to show you guys and try to make it clear for you. So DJ Pro allows us to create our own samples by going over here. Let me turn my mouse on so you can see where I'm pointing. You go down here to this pencil mark. And now we go, just press one of these three dots. And then you go up to my samples. And anything in the deck, as long as it's not from a streaming service, it'll let you record. So that was just one of the scratch samples that is preloaded. And then we put that in there. And then that is our sample. But now if we add an effect to it. Where were we? I have a loop on. Where were we? So now we have this sample here. It's like that. That's the one we added. But now if we put an effect on it, echo, you guys could hear, very clearly that we have an echo on this deck. So now the common sense thing to do would just have the echo on and then we're going to go over here and we're just going to record again just like we did. But there's an echo and it should record the echo into the sample. So ready? I went a little too far, so try to just get the first echo. So we have echo on right here. And now let's go try it again. So, so you guys could clearly hear the echo in this sample that we just recorded. But now when we load this sample into one of the boxes, listen. It took the effect off. I don't know how it does it. I don't know why it does it but it takes the effect off when you record it. So this is frustrating a lot of people. A lot of people in the comments are asking me, how do I fix this? Why can't I put an effect on my sample? So I'm going to show you with this ex example by using this Go DJ, Go Go DJ, DJ. sample. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the record button. I know a lot of these out of the box kind of creative ways of using DJ Pro we're going to be layering recordings. So in order to do that, you press the middle button and we're going to press record. So down here is record, press record. And don't worry about pressing record and then starting to do what you're do, doing because you could always edit out the blank space. So just press record and then we're going to play the sample and it's going to record the sample as a track. So start a new audio recording and then we're just going to hit go DJ. And there go we go. DJ. So that was recorded. Stop recording. And that's right here. So now we're going to load this into a deck. So now we have our sample in a deck. Make sure we're um, going to turn this off for now. So it, we're going to put on one of these. We're going to set this temporary cue point. 
So now Go that's DJ. our sample. It's the same thing as if we press it on the sampler. The same Go exact DJ. recording is right here. Go DJ. So now if we add an effect to it, it sounds like this. Go DJ. Go DJ. Go DJ. So now the way I showed you guys how to record our own samples you go up here, you choose the deck you want to do, you have the sound ready, and then you just press deck two. Go, DJ, but just DJ, like with the other DJ, one I showed you, DJ. you guys clearly heard that I recorded it with the effect on. Go, DJ. And now go, it's the DJ. same. So it was, go, DJ. it was recorded go, with an effect on, but it somehow takes out the effect when it puts it in the sampler. It's weird, but that's what it does. So how do we get around this? We get around this by doing another recording. This is the secret step. So now we have our sample with the effect on it. So instead of just going instead of just going here and recording the sample, the next step is we're going to make another recording. So we're going to go to record, start a new recording, and now we're going to record it with the sample and the effect. Go DJ, 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 now stop the recording. Now we're going to add this new recording. Let's just get this one off the deck so we don't get confused. Now we're going to add our new recording of the sample with the effect onto a deck. And I was like kind of nervous when I did this for the first time because they took the effect out of the first one when we recorded it into the sample. So I was wondering if this track is saved as a track with an effect, are they going to be able to take it out? So let's see what happens. So make sure you take the effect off so we don't have double effect going. Go DJ, DJ. And that's what we have. So now that's the track. And now we're going to record this second recording into deck two as a sample. Go, DJ, DJ, DJ. And now we're going to load this into the box. And now, this is the original Go DJ. Go, DJ. And Go, this DJ. is our Go DJ with an echo on it. Go, DJ, DJ. Go, DJ, DJ. So that's how it's done. That's how you add effects to it. And you guys could keep going even more. You could add another effect to it. You can make it louder by adjusting the gain. You guys could... This is how you do it. If you want to change the effects or the volume in a sample, you just have to record the sample, make it a recording, then record it with an effect on it, then record it into the deck. It's a little complicated, but it's just an extra step. So now what if we wanted to use one of the vocals or something in the looper as a effect? as um, an add effects to it and put it in the sampler. So here we go, we, we got this vocal. We live a proof of life, you just read about. We only come to turn the party out. Loud is the only way they go, So let's do this one. So here we're gonna go to record. Let's just get this out of the deck so we don't get it up confused. So now we're gonna go to record, start a new recording. And then we're just going to play this vocal. Now we're going to stop the recording. You just read about. Yeah. We only come to turn and then we're going to add this out. recording into the deck. And anything that's in the looper, anything that's already in the sampler, you're allowed to use. There's no copyright, so it's going to allow you to load it into a deck and make recordings. So now we're loading it over here. So now we have the vocals from this loop. We live a proof of life, you just read about. We and I'm gonna want the turn part, the... turn the party out. So we're gonna set a cue point where it starts. So that's what we're gonna record. So go to record, start a new recording, and play the part we want. Now we got our new recording, stop, and then we're gonna load it into the deck. So now if we wanted to just add that into one of our loopers, what we would do is go over here and then press the deck 2 to record it. 
Turn the party out. And there we go. We added one uh, vocals from the looper into the sampler. It's really cool because now we have all these other samples that we could take from all of the looper packs. And now let's, ah, maybe this will sound good with some reverb on it. So let's say we wanted to add some reverb. This is how we do it. I'm gonna add the reverb at the end. So I'm gonna press record again and I'm gonna put reverb on at the right time. So record, start a new recording, press play, get ready with the reverb. Turn the party out. There we go. Stop the recording. I always like to eject it so I don't get confused. Eject it from the deck. There's nothing in the decks. Go back to record. Load it up. Set our cue point right where it starts. Turn. Turn, Turn so now it has out. our sample that we got from a loop with reverb on it saved into the track now we just go back to our sampler and we are going to record it load it up and there we go we got a sample from the looper loaded into the sampler with an effect on it which before a lot of people thought was impossible to add an effect to a sample so I hope this helped you guys solve a problem because this was something that really frustrated me and it seemed like you should have just be able to add an effect and record your sample, but you had to take the extra step. So let me know in the comments if this is helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions and I make videos every single day. So subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. Thank you.